The Codex is a prototype dual-screen tablet computer, a custom detente hinge between the displays affords setting up the device in a variety of postures. Embedded sensors automatically adjust the displays and the software functionality to suit the resulting task context. Whether that means different arrangements for individual work, or postures that afford collaborating with another user. The small folding form factor makes the codex extremely mobile and versatile. It also senses when the user detaches the screens. Let's look at how a knowledge worker might use the codex for individual and collaborative sense-making tasks. Joe Researcher is interested in electronic notebooks, but he needs some inspiration. Hey Joe. Morning Morgan. Hey, what's that? Check this out on Flickr. There's all these photos people post of their moleskin notebooks. Neat, that's really cool. I definitely gotta check that out for our electronic notebook project. Yeah, you can help me put together some cool stuff for our group presentation. Yeah, sure, no problem. Back in his office, Joe uses his codex as an electronic scrapbook to follow up on the thought. He does a quick search and starts to explore what's there. Joe browses the photos side by side with his notes. Then he grabs a clipping, all without interrupting his primary note-taking task. Next, Joe decides to review a video that he's got queued up. He's got his codex paired with his desktop, so he grabs the video onto his notes. He just opens it up from the automatic hyperlink. He pulls out the screen so he can watch it in landscape. While he kicks back and jots a few notes. He just pops it back in when he's done, and he's back where he left off. After a couple days, Joe has a bunch of cool stuff. To help organize things, he makes a table of contents, and he pulls in links to all the important pages. Joe can press on a page link to see a preview, or open the link to navigate to the page. The pages show up on the other screen, so he doesn't lose track of the big picture. To make the most of the small screens, Joe puts some details into sidebars. He just lassos what he wants, shrinks it down, and makes it into a sidebar. When he taps on a sidebar, the details are called out on the other screen. Joe sets aside his codex while he does some other work, but when he stands it up like this, it still functions as an ambient display. One screen keeps him up to date on email, while the other screen shows a continuous slideshow of his note pages. This way, he can continue to mull over his new ideas in the periphery of his intention. Hey Morgan. I gotta tell you, I got a lot of ideas from looking at those photos on Flickr. Really? Yeah, check it out. People do these really cool collages. I like this one. Yeah, and custom covers are big too. You gotta personalize. And draw graffiti too. Oh, and hang on. Let me show you this other page. Here. For some reason, people post pictures of everything in their bag. Cool. Let's put that in the presentation. Yeah, let, let's work on that. Here it is. What's in my bag? I like it. Now the day for the presentation has come. Joe flips his codex to the laptop posture and projects from the top screen. He can look at his speaking points and drive his presentation from the bottom screen. So here's what Morgan and I have been thinking about. Customization is a big deal in paper notebooks, like this. Or this one. It has to be very personal. Big bold fonts really stand out, and people really like to show you what's in their bag. Why? That's dumb. Yeah, I guess some people are just dumb. Overall, the two screens of the codex afford a separation of concerns in reading versus writing, public versus private, and other partitions of task roles and views. The facile transitions between usage contexts via sensed postures enable a rich set of possibilities without undue burden to the user.